Hi everybody, Bob Choate here. Today, I'm going to be talking about something I think is very important. And it comes from a book called Making Contact by Virginia Satir. So, this is the book. And there's a poem in there. Now, before I get into reciting that poem, those of you that don't know who Virginia Satir is, if you're familiar with NLP, Bandler and Grinder, John Grinder and Richard Bandler, studied Virginia Satir's process of therapy. And she wrote a book called People Making, the New People Making and Conjoint Family Therapy. And she was simply amazing in how she was able to rapidly and effectively help people to overcome a lot of their difficulties, especially how they see themselves. And that's really important. She talked about communication and much more. And I want to read this poem. And by the way, it's called I Am Me, right here. So I'll be reading it from this book. And I will have a copy, a PDF copy of this in a link. So if you follow in the description, I will have a link embedded within there where you can go and download it. And I would suggest that you do and you can copy it off and put it wherever you want, especially if this resonates with you. Okay, so let's get started. It's called I Am Me. In all the world, there is no one else exactly like me. There are persons who have parts like me, but no one adds up exactly like me. Therefore, everything that comes out of me is authentically mine because I alone chose it. I own everything about me, my body, including everything it does, my mind, including all its thoughts and ideas, my eyes, including the images of all they behold, my feelings, whatever they may be, anger, joy, frustration, love, disappointment, excitement, my mouth, and all the words that come out of it, polite, sweet or rough, correct or incorrect, my voice, loud or soft, and all my actions, whether they be to others or to myself. I own my fantasies, my dreams, my hopes, my fears. I own all my triumphs and successes, all my failures and mistakes. Because I own all of me, I can become intimately acquainted with me. By so doing, I can love me and be friendly with me in all my parts. I can then make it possible for all of me to work in my best interest. I know there are aspects about myself that puzzle me and other aspects that I do not know. But as long as I am friendly and loving to myself, I can courageously and hopefully look for solutions to the puzzles and for ways to find out more about me. However I look and sound, whatever I say and do, and whatever I think and feel at a given moment in time is me. This is authentic and represents where I am at that moment in time. When I review later how I looked and sounded, what I said and did, and how I thought and felt, some parts may turn out to be unfitting. I can discard that which is unfitting and keep that which proved fitting and invent something new for that which I discarded. I can see, hear, feel, think, say, and do. I have the tools to survive, to be close to others, to be productive, and to make sense and order out of the world of people and things outside of me. I own me, and therefore, I can engineer me. I am me, and I am okay. So I hope you guys got a lot out of that and you understand what she meant, the concept behind it. Because the truth is, when you embrace who you are, every aspect of it, you can take control and make a difference in your own life. If there's things you don't like, like she said, discard it. If it's not 
part, if it doesn't fit who you are, discard it. Replace it and become the better version of yourself, authentically so. So this has been Bob Cho. I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to download it, print it out, read it, whatever you want to do. Keep it and own it for yourself. Okay? Take care now.